Hi everyone. In this video I'm going to show you exactly why ZZ Tool is the most powerful page creation system on the planet. Now, ZZ Tool is a desktop application. The application runs right on your computer. So you don't need to install scripts, you don't need to mess with PHP, Perl, or pass to Perl, that Perl modules that or any of that. And what it does is it takes RSS feeds and adds them to existing pages or it'll create brand new pages from RSS feeds. Now there's two kinds of projects, a directory project and an archive project. The directory project will take a set a, a folder full of web pages that already exist and add FT, uh, uh, excuse me, RSS updates to those pages. Uh, and as it updates, as RSS updates, it'll it'll uh, update your web pages and then FTP them, upload them to your various hosts. This is good if, if you have say a uh, uh, hundred pages with various articles on them and one example use would be MySpace, Facebook, Twitter, they all export in RSS so if you have a hundred pages with articles on them from article directories, PLR, or original now you can use easy tool to update your latest Twitter tweets to your pages and give your it look like your content is updating as well as give, give you links to your Twitter account, that type of thing. And I'm sure you can see the power in that. And the second type of project is called an archive project. An archive project are a drip feeder where we will actually create new pages based on RSS feeds that we input into the system. And let's have a closer look at archive projects. Now the first thing you'll want to do is, is give the archive project a name. Pretty simple there. And uh, what we'll do is input the HTML for any template you want to use in this box here and it could be a simple template or a sophisticated template as long as you can use it for any web page, any static page it'll work with ZZ Tool. Now, then you just click the RSS button and this will bring up all the RSS feeds you have inputted in the system and you have to input these in, in, into uh, the system for ZZ Tool to read and, and ZZ will display the, the different type of uh, tags you can use and what each one is you know, what each feed does and basically you just take a feed a tag and put it anywhere in your HTML that you want the code to display or the IRS excuse me the RSS code to display and you just preview the template to make sure everything's okay and there's different variable can change this will show seven items from a particular RSS feed uh, and, and, and it's again you just preview to make sure everything's okay now you want to select a folder as easy tool creates new pages it'll store them on your PC and this is a, an important concept blogs you cannot do this with unless you really go with PHP you can't edit an individual page well easy tools using regular web pages you can open up a page on uh, in, in, in your favorite HTML editor and, and change the SEO, change the formula, change your affiliate programs from one page to another. And it gives you complete control. Also you have a backup system. So, so if your server gets wiped out, you've got all your pages already sitting on your hard drive to re-upload. It's easy to do that for you even. And here's your page naming system. It looks more complicated than it is, but we're just trying to make sure that you don't duplicate the names of every page, of any pages, so, so it might so it won't overwrite others. Just change page to keyword such as dogs and ZZ will take care of the rest. It has a very sophisticated linking strategy. You can choose from these four different uh, strategies and actually you can employ more than one uh, and each one has template unless you're into RSS, uh, excuse me, unless you're into styling like, like CSS or, or web style, you can just leave this alone, it'll take care of itself, but if, if you want to change this, um, you can. This, this will give you the anchor text of, of your link, and, and you can put these texts, uh, you can put these links anywhere on the page you want, and by the linking strategy, as ZZ Tool creates a new page, it needs to go back to your older pages, so those older pages will link to your new page. I hope that makes sense. And, and this is why ZZ is so powerful. It gives you so many linking possibilities. And you can use one or more. If you're not sure, just, just check you know, the RAM. And ZZ will take seven older pages. And as it creates a new page, it'll take the seven older pages and put links to that new page on these 
older pages. And, and again, unless you control where on the page you want to put it. Now, or if you're building pages slowly, you can add links to all pages. So if you have 20 pages and you make the 21st, well, all the pages will link to all the other pages. And this is good if you have a small amount of pages, but if you have a thousand pages, you don't want to have a thousand link to all the other pages on every page. That doesn't make sense. And this is a real powerful feature of, of ZZ right here. It's a, it's a name spinner. Paste it. Notice the keywords here, a second list here, a third list here, and it, will, it acts like a spinner and will spin different combinations, almost if you can picture a slot machine, so that when it creates an anchor, uh, the anchor text for a new page, it will not use the same anchor text repeatedly, and, and it'll give uh, your new pages new anchor text. So let's say you had a list and it spits out dog training info. Well, it will go to all the older pages or all the pages, and that new page will be linked to using dog training info. Uh, I, I hope that makes sense, but whatever appears in this title tag here will be generated by by ZZ Tool. Again, this is just to give you a huge variety of anchor text based on your keyword, which is very important for SEO. This this will control the template or the output for the RSS feed itself. Again, you know you might want to up this. This this will make the description bigger. Of course, you're dependent. If the description only has say 50, that's all it's going to display. But if it has more, uh, you can control how much there. Uh, uh, using this template and the replace invalid or empty tags. This is in case you get an error or an RSS item doesn't have any info in it. This will insert whatever you want into it. It can be content, it can be a, 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 um, an error message, or it can be a link to a, a sales page or an affiliate program. Whatever you want to replace errors or missing info with. And there's some FTP um, functions here, auto upload. Normally you'll check that and after ZZ Tool creates, uh, goes through its process on schedule, it'll automatically upload the pages. Upload uh, all files in the directory if you want to. Let's say you have a thousand pages, but only 20 of them are ZZ Tool pages in that folder. Well, you don't want to always upload a thousand pages every time ZZ Tool runs, so you might want to unselect that. You just fill in your FTP info here and ZZ Tool upload it. A very sophisticated scheduler. You can do it daily, weekly on certain days of the week. You can choose monthly and on certain days of the month. And this is probably best for most uses. You can put it in a test mode, create a page every minute by entering this, or maybe you want more control. You can do like 745 and it'll create a page every 745 minutes, which is what 12 hours or so right in there. And, and add a project. You just would now you add your project. And again, what's the, the power of ZZ is that it uses static pages. This means you can use cheap and free web hosting. You don't have to worry about if, if it'll take PHP version five or whatever. You don't have to worry about server uh, uh, power because it's all done on your computer. And this this will pay for ZZ itself over and over again. And, and then you can just create copy a new project. Go find yourself another free host, alter that project a little bit, and most free hosts, you have to upload FTP to them once a month to show that you're active or they'll cancel your account. It doesn't matter if you're getting traffic, but let ZZ Tool do this. Let ZZ Tool build content. Let ZZ Tool, as you create your own RSS feeds from blogs, let them add to your network automatically. Put that in ZZ Tool, and and you have a self uh, updating network that's ever expanding, getting bigger and bigger, and it only takes you a few minutes once you learn how to use ZZ Tool to create project after project after project. And again, you don't have to pay for expensive hosting. You don't have to worry about all the other BS that's involved with most uh, procedures to get RSS on the web pages. It's fast, it's easy, it's effective, and it's yours free for all uh, Bomb Squad forum members. As long as you're a member of the Bomb Squad, you have an active ZZ tool with unlimited projects. That's it for this video, and I hope to see you on the inside of the Bomb Squad. See you later. Bye-bye.